guys, welcome to Neri's Kitchen. Today I'm going to be making one of my favorite appetizers. It is a Cambodian salad roll. Um, I like this dish because it's so yummy, it's so fresh and it's light. And I think the fav my favorite part is probably the dipping sauce. So these salad rolls consist of some components. We are using um, some Asian rice paper, ri rice paper wrappers that you can find at the Asian store. Also in the Asian aisle of your local grocery store. Um, also it consists of your protein such as the shrimp. I'm using large shrimp here. You can cut this in half, but I'm just going to leave this whole because I like to have a nice bite of shrimp. We have some pork as well. Um, you can use chicken or if you can use tofu if you want to make this vegetarian and then also your greens. So we will be stuffing our salad rolls with some lettuce here. And I'm just using some green leaf lettuce, um, some cucumber as well. And then your herbs, I'm using some cilantro just because I like the taste of cilantro. Of course, if you want to use some Thai basil, you can use that as well, but I couldn't find any in the store. So we're gonna use cilantro. And then I'm also adding in some avocado into my salad roll. So let's get started. Now I have a bowl of water here that is, um, it's been heated, it's, it's not hot, but you need some warm water. That way it will cook the rice paper. So you just wanna grab your rice paper, use this one here. And then you just wanna put it into the hot water, but keep on moving it because it has to soften up the rice paper. We also don't want it to be too soggy, right? So here is number one. Okay, so then you want this to just lay on a plate and let it soften like that. And I'm actually gonna do two at the same time. This is how I was taught to make this from my mom. I don't think I appreciated this when I was younger because I just didn't like cooking, but now that I have my own family, I quite enjoy doing this. It's been a long time since I made this, but I'm thankful that my mom taught me how to do this. Okay, so you want this to soften just a little bit. Now we'll build it together. I'm gonna use um, some lettuce here. I've already washed this. You can just um, lay it over here like this. And then you can use some noodles if you'd like. I'm just going to use a little bit of noodles. You're supposed to be using noodles in these rolls, but um, I prefer not to, but let's just put noodles anyways. I didn't want to add the extra carbs, but do you like carbs? Do you like noodles? Yes. Jerome? Okay, good. So add some noodles here. And then uh, let me cut up our cucumber. So you want this long, right? That way every bite has a bit of cucumber. So I'm just gonna cut this lengthways here. Cause I, I love cucumber, I love that crunch. Do you like that crunch too, Jerome? Yes. Yeah, okay. So there, I guess I should have done this ahead of time. But this is how you would slice it. It doesn't have to be perfect. As long as every bite has cucumber. And then I'm also using avocado. Now this, you don't have to put avocado into your salad rolls, but I like to add it because it adds some bite. And um, okay, this is dangerous, you guys. This is dangerous. Ah, some people actually cut their hands, but I didn't. Okay, same thing as well. You want to make sure that you slice your avocado so every bite has avocado like that. And then we're gonna use a spoon to scoop it out. And of course you can, you can use any ingredients you have on hand. It doesn't have to be these exact ingredients. I've seen people use bean sprouts in theirs. Um, I've seen people use um, some red bell pepper, some cabbage, carrots but these are the ingredients that I like to use. Okay, so we have our noodles. We'll take some cucumber here. We'll add some pork. I like to use pork in mine just because that's what I grew up with using. We're gonna put some cilantro as well. And I just leave it whole like this. I don't actually chop it. And then we'll put some avocado in ours here. Okay. All right, and then, okay. Make sure you fold the sides. And it doesn't have to be perfect. And don't overstuff it like me because then it might break, but that's okay. No one will know that you made a mistake, right? 
then you roll it together like that. And here, we're going to put some shrimp. And you want to put the shrimp at the end. And that way it stands out and it looks pretty. And that is salad roll number one. See, I kind of stuffed this a little bit. But, you know, as you get, as you keep on rolling, it looks better and better. So we'll put this over here and then we'll start again. Okay. So, Jerome, do you want to try to do this too? Uh, no, you can do it. <laughs> no, I can do it. <laughs> I used to eat this a lot, actually. When, um, I used to eat this as a kid a lot. And then I stopped eating this because um, it just took a lot of time, right? But once you have all of the ingredients, and then once you prep, it actually is fun and it actually tastes better when you make it yourself, right? So yeah, the last time I had this was, I used to make this for RJ actually. Yeah. I did, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, I need my avocado. This was early on, probably like when we first got together, I used to make this for him, but then, uh, you know, you get busy. And I just decided to uh, order at the restaurant instead of making it myself. And I just stopped, but you know, I, I love going to my mom's house because she always, she'll make this here and there for us. So I like that. It always tastes better when mom makes it, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. And they don't have to be perfect, like I said, because the rice paper wrapper, it'll, you can just tuck it in, right? So all good. But I've had this with tofu also, and it actually tastes pretty good with tofu. Um, you can just marinate the tofu with some soy sauce, and it tastes really good too. I've actually had it there at Fruit de la Vie. We were there having their summer rolls, and it's so good. Okay, so we'll keep doing this again. Um, you know what? Yeah, let's do the noodles. I already boiled some noodles, and I'm just using rice noodles. It's vermicelli noodles that you can find at the store. It doesn't take very long to cook as well. Then, like I said, there's no right or wrong way on how to build this. Jerome, do you like cilantro? Yes. Some people don't like cilantro. They um, apparently make them, it takes, it tastes soapy is what I'm told. Mm -hmm. But I love cilantro. Oh, we need our shrimp. Let's put this here. So when you do make this, you want to let the rice paper kind of just sit for a little bit so that way the rice wrapper is soft. You don't want it too wet, otherwise it won't hold together. Just a little tip. That's why I like to have two plates and do two at the same time. So you're essentially folding it like a burrito. When I eat this, so this is supposed to be an appetizer, but when I eat this, I eat like five. <laughs> five, yeah, because it's so good. I don't stop at one. Who stop? Do you stop at one? No, I don't. I stop at I'm, when I'm full. You stop when you're full? I know, right? It's an appetizer, but I like it. My friend, actually, she's from Laos. She um, made this with ground beef. So you can really put any protein that you'd like, or if you want to just omit the protein, you can. It's, it's really up to you. But I like the protein, just to make it more of a meal, right? Yes. Okay, well, we'll do one more, and then I'll show you my favorite dipping sauce, and it's so easy to make, too. I think I've seen people put, like, um, not fish, but even dry chicken in this. But you can make it any way you'd like. Or mango, I've seen mango in this as well. Um, I, I didn't grow up with putting mango in here, so we'll just keep it the Asian way, or the Cambodian way as I would like to say. <laughs> have you tried Cambodian foods, Jerome? Yes, I have. Oh, you have? Yeah. Well, what dish have you tried? Um, the curry chicken. Curry chicken? Yeah. From where? Um, we have a family. My sister-in-law is a Cambodian. Your sister-in-law is Cambodian? Yeah, she's married to uh, my wife's uh, What? Who's this? <laughs> we Who? Who's talk this? about that later. Okay, so it's funny because 
Winnipeg is such a small city, right? Yeah, yeah. And uh, all Cambodians know each other. So I'm just thinking, who is it and do I know this person? Probably. Um, Manuka is her name. Oh, Manuka! I know who Manuka is. There you go. What a small world. Hi, Manuka, if you're watching. <laughs> Jerome, take her in this video. <laughs> yeah, what a small world. Okay. Yeah, all Cambodians in Winnipeg know each other. And our parents all know each other as well. And if someone, if there's a party, we're all invited. Um, yeah, it's great. Okay, I'll make one more and then I'll show you how to make the dipping sauce. Jerome, I'll make this one for you. How do you like yours? Uh, heavy all, please. Heavy all? <laughs> all. Um, all of it. Okay, all of all it, of okay. It. What do you like in your salad roll? I usually like uh, pork. Pork, okay. Or sometimes the beef, I like the beef too, right? Oh, beef yeah, as well. Beef okay. So pork and beef. I don't have beef, beef, but yeah, yeah we'll do some pork. pork. I'll put heavy pork for you. Yeah, so heavy pork and noodles. And noodles? Uh, more, lots of avocado. Lots of avocado, okay. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Okay, so this is a Jerome roll. Heavy all. Heavy. Lots of pork <laughs> and lots of avocado. Do you like lettuce? Yes, let's put some lettuce in Okay, there. we'll put lettuce. So what I did here is, so how I, I like to um, lay my lettuce flat, like this. It just makes things a lot easier to roll. And which is why I'm using the green leaf lettuce, but you can use any lettuce you'd like. But I like the flat one because it's, it makes it easy for me. And then I just grab my noodles and then I actually just lay it on top of the lettuce, right? And then I put everything on top of the lettuce still. That way everything is folded inside the leaf and there's really no mess. Oh, you want heavy pork. Okay, I'll try to make this heavy pork. More pork? Yes, please. <laughs> okay, I don't know if I can roll this, but yeah, I'll try. Let's try, it. try it. And you want heavy avocado? I don't know, <laughs> Jerome. Can I roll this? Yes, you can. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll see. We'll see. Don't want to. You're actually supposed to start this in the middle too, but um, I didn't start it in the middle. You could start it anyway. You're supposed to fold it like a burrito. They even have videos on how to make this. Did you know that? They have no. videos on how to roll this. Properly? Yeah. But, um... It's fun. That is fun. Okay, I'll put four shrimp for you. Yes. Actually, okay. you're supposed to cut the shrimp in half, but like I said, I don't like to cut it in half because then you don't get lots of protein. It's cheap. Well, then it's, it's, too, it's so thin, right? Yeah, it's so thin, yeah. Jeez, Jerome. Good. Oh, look look at that, guys. Okay, awesome. this is the Jerome roll. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. So, that massive right. one there. Show now we're the sauce. Okay, we'll make the sauce. So, I'll put this over here. And the sauce is so simple to make. Let me get a different bowl here. Okay. I've seen so many different ways on how to make the sauce, too. Really, you, you just need your peanut butter and you need your either soy sauce or hoisin sauce. So in this case, I'm going to use um, natural peanut butter. If you don't have natural peanut butter, you can use almond butter or you can even use just regular peanut butter, it doesn't matter. Okay. So we'll pour this like that, so half a cup. Just like that. And then we need, thank you, Jerome, we need soy sauce. So we need about, um, I would say two tablespoons. I'm just gonna eyeball this. Okay. Okay, that's one. Two. I don't know, I'm, I'm just guessing. And then you need, oh, you need some vinegar. So this is about um, one tablespoon of vinegar. Um, of course, if you don't have vinegar, use lime. Lime is actually very Asian, but I don't have any lime on hand, but lime works best. So we'll add some lime, and then we need to thin this out. So I'm just going to add some water to thin it out. Okay. And then if you can also add some kick in here if you'd like, like um, garlic chili paste. But I don't have that on hand, so I'm not going to use that. Or you can use sriracha if you wanted some heat. Or you can use um, chili flakes. 
Do you like yours spicy, Jerome? I like mine spicy either. Okay. Make so sure. So we have some sriracha in the fridge, right? I have some sriracha in the fridge, yeah. Make sure it's well incorporated. And that's how easy it is to make. You can also add some garlic if you want. Some ginger. Ginger is very Asian as well. And look, look at that. But you can't forget the peanuts. Okay, so that looks good. Let me grab another bowl. Now, I'd like to hear from you guys. If you make salad rolls, what do you guys put in your rolls? And let me know in the comments below. There's so many different ways. Okay, so that looks good. Um, let's get a spoon. And then we'll spoon this into a separate bowl because everyone needs their own separate bowl. Just like that. And then you can't forget the peanuts. You have to add peanuts. These are just um, dry roasted peanuts that are roasted over um, a dry pan over the stove until it's all nice and toasted. So we'll add some like that. And there you have it and that's it. Look how easy that was. So this is going to be Jerome's meal, his lunch. <laughs> what? That's a lot. There you go. It's not a lot. I could eat this yeah, myself. Yeah, there you go. Okay, I'll put this here. And there you have it, guys. Thank you so much for joining me on Neri's Kitchen. I hope you enjoyed the show. Um, let me know in the comments below if you've tried this recipe. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye now.